right on to the conduct of business. Our first item is item 10A, adopt a resolution approving the San Bruno Community Foundation 2017-18 budget and appointing four directors for four-year terms. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. We have two items in one for your convenience this evening. Uh, the first item is a uh, approval by the City Council of the Foundation's budget, which is required by the uh, bylaws that the City Council adopted and also approved by the Foundation. And then the second item is to appoint four directors for four-year terms at this time. So I'm going to speak briefly about uh, both of those items and then the executive director of the foundation, Leslie Hadamia, is going to make some additional comments, hopefully almost as brief as mine. Uh, so the first item <laughs> is the uh, budget item. I, I, I think she might object to that. Um, the first item is the budget item. And as you know, the foundation's budget is subject to city council approval. The uh, budget was developed by the foundation and its advisors, its several advisors did a lot of work on that budget. Uh, and it's extremely impressive if you go to uh, their meetings and watch the uh, process for developing their budget, much like yours, is uh, extensive, uh, involves a lot of deliberation and a lot of expert assistance to develop. The main difference between this year's budget and last year's budget is you'll see an allocation of about $50 million uh, set aside for the future construction of the uh, city's uh, pool and recreation center project. So Leslie will make some additional comments about that for you. The second item uh, before you this evening is the uh, consideration of appointment of four directors. So the appointment of directors to the foundation board by the bylaws is within the purview of the city council to appoint. There are four directors up who have four-year terms. They'll be up uh, by the end of the year. That those would be Nancy Krauss, John McLaughlin, Emily Roberts, and Tim Ross. And you might remember that you had appointed Mr. Ross to fill the position vacated by Ben Cohn when he moved out of town. As the staff report indicates, all of those individuals, all four of them, have indicated an interest to continue with the board, and that would allow the uh, development and implementation of the foundation's plans and programs without any interruption or uncertainty. It also would allow the foundation to select its officers, as they traditionally have done in the late fall, so that it can be approved by the city council before the end of the calendar year, because those officers then, then take office in um, January of 2017, excuse me, 18. Uh, so with that, I'll turn it over to Leslie for her comments, uh, and then back to the city council. Thank you, and thank you, Honorable Mayor and members of the City Council. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to speak before you tonight on behalf of the Foundation. Um, as you know, I'm Leslie Hadamia, the Executive Director of the Foundation, and I am joined here tonight by several members of our board, President Nancy Krauss, Secretary John McLaughlin, uh, Treasurer Tim Ross, and Board Member Emily Roberts. Um, before I get to the two action items, I just wanted to take this opportunity to give you some of the highlights of the past year um, that the foundation has experienced. Um, we have really gotten past sort of our corporate governance policy building um, phase and have really plowed into full steam ahead into um, our programmatic phase. And over the past year, we have been busy launching and administering a broad array of programs that utilize the restitution funds for the benefit of the entire San Bruno community. Let me just touch on a couple of the highlights, all of which have emerged from the results of our community listening campaign that we conducted in the spring of 2015. Um, first, as you know, uh, last year we launched the Crestmore Neighborhood Memorial Scholarship in this first year, we awarded $100,000 multi-year scholarships to seven community service-minded um, San Bruno students going into college. Earlier this month, we awarded our second set of Crestmore scholarships, totaling $120,000 to nine impressive young high school and community college graduates. A number of council members were in attendance at our awards presentation earlier this month. Um, and as you know, this program was specifically created to honor the community members who most directly endured the destruction of the 2010 gas pipeline explosion 
especially the eight individuals who lost their lives. And I think if you've read the bios of the um, scholarship recipients, you'll see that they are inspiring and give us great hope for the future of our community. Second, um, last summer we created the Community Grants Fund and awarded at the end of 2016 $200,000 in grants of up to $25,000 each to local organizations who form the lifeblood of the San Bruno community. The grants went to a diverse set of community groups from St. Vincent de Paul to the Prospect Girls Basketball Program to Relay for Life to Project Read and so on. We will launch our second community grant cycle next week with an application deadline of September 27th, and we plan to award another $200,000 in grants at the end of this year. Third, as you know, the Foundation Board has expressed support for the city's plan to build a new recreation center and all-season pool facility in San Bruno City Park, and we are working with city staff on a $50 million grant arrangement to fund the design and construction. We are very much looking forward to partnering with the city on this valuable and much needed resource for our community. Fourth, as the precursor to the council's decision to move forward on the rec center pool project, the foundation funded the city's community facilities vision plan with two grants totaling more than $206,000. We were pleased with the high level of community engagement involved in the vision planning and prioritization <coughs> process and with the seriousness with which the council received the results. Fifth, the foundation has committed $200,000 to support the city's development of the new neighborhood park on Florida Avenue, and we look forward to that park's completion later this year, bringing a new outdoor play and gathering space to the east side of town. Sixth, for the past, few, for the past two years, the foundation has been a proud sponsor of the city's community day in the park with $30,000 grants each year. This year, we also assisted the city in bringing in three additional sponsors, Walmart, YouTube, and Skyline College, who collectively contributed $20,000 to the event, which as you know, was enjoyed by many community members just three weeks ago. Seventh, at our last board meeting, the board approved an increase in our level of support for pedestrian safety improvements in San Bruno from $170,000 to nearly $264,000. We are excited to work with the city to bring flashing beacons to unsignalized crosswalks near two schools in the San Bruno Park School District and several more in the downtown area. We are also working to gain the support of additional community partners to join in this pedestrian safety initiative. And finally, one of the most exciting strategic initiatives this year aims to make music education a hallmark of San Bruno's public schools. We are providing nearly a half million dollars over three years to the San Bruno Education Foundation and the Cappuccino High School Alumni Association to benefit the mu music programs at all San Bruno Park School District schools and Cappuccino High School. This initiative is a collaboration of many groups supporting our public schools and the community will benefit not only from stronger schools and stronger musicians, but a sense of community pride resulting from the beautiful music these groups will share with all of us. So getting to the two action items. In accordance to our bylaws, before the council this evening is consideration of the foundation's 2017-18 budget. Just a few words about the budget. The expenses include more than $50.6 million in direct program expenses, $50 million for the rec center pool project, and the balance for the scholarships, community grants, and several smaller strategic grants, and then about $379,000 in support costs, roughly the same as this past year's budget. Just so you know, we record grants as expenses when the grant agreement has been actually executed, which is why the $50 million um, pool recreation center project will show on this year's budget, even though the money will be spent over several years. On the income or funds available for operations side of the budget, it's much lower as most of the 50 million, as you know, for the rec center pool will not be paid out until we hit the construction phase. We do not show investment income for our two investment accounts, the quasi endowment and the strategic pool on our budget and internal monthly financial statements as those amounts are subject to great variance that is out of our control 
and they do not reflect the amount of funds that are actually available for operations. The board designates the payout or the amount to transfer for, from both pools to cover the year's cash flow needs into our operating budget. Thus, what the budget shows are the funds actually available for operations. It shows that we are taking a 2.25% payout from the quasi-endowment, or roughly $353,000, to cover community grants and scholarships, with the balance needed to cover our cash needs for the year, a little over a million dollars coming from our strategic pool. The other foundation-related item before the council tonight is reappointment of the four board members to two four-year terms. President Nancy Krauss, Secretary John McLaughlin, Treasurer Tim Ross, and board member Emily Roberts. Their initial terms end this year, and all four have expressed a desire to continue their volunteer service to San Bruno and the foundation and serve second terms as permitted under the foundation's bylaws. All four have been instrumental in helping the foundation get to where it is today, the creation of all these programs, and the careful stewardship of the restitution funds. Mm -hmm. We respectfully ask the City Council to approve the Foundation's 2017-18 budget and to reappoint Nancy, John, Tim, and Emily to new four-year terms on the Foundation's board. Both actions will allow the Foundation to continue moving forward on its current trajectory to use the restitution funds to enhance the quality of life for all of us in San Bruno. Before I close, I'd also like to acknowledge by name the other board members who have been key to the Foundation's success. Vice President Frank Headley and board members Pat Bohm and Dr. Regina Stanback Stroud. Each of the seven foundation board members have contributed significant time outside of the monthly meetings to enable the accomplishments I have detailed for you tonight. I also acknowledge the volunteer service of the foundation's investment committee, who include, in addition to Treasurer Ross and Vice President Headley, community members Tony Clifford, Mark Hayes, and George Ann Perkins. Thank you for your consideration of our um, agenda items, and I'm happy to respond to any questions you may have. Any questions for Leslie? Yeah. I think that the, the one curiosity I have is how much money is there of the $70 million? This is like a fund that just keeps giving. And I understand, you know, the particulars and just uh, uh, expense, expenses of what, what you're going to operate on the $50 million plus, but just for what's in round numbers, how much is how much is uh, in the fund? Sure. So um, currently, when you uh, the quasi endowment is at sixteen point five million, and that started at fifteen million, and the strategic pool is about um, fifty five point one million. That's as as of May thirty first, so our last statement. So the total of those together is about seventy one point six um, million. Um, and in the past fiscal year, um, we made an investment income on those two funds about 2.78 million. And our expenses um, for this past year were about 1.6 million. So our expenses were less than what we made in investment income if you just total them. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Any other questions for Leslie? Mm -hmm. Rico? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> to the board and to Leslie, thank you for staying with us this evening. We appreciate your patience. <laughs> uh, if there are no, no other questions from my colleagues, um, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and introduce the resolution approving the San Bruno Community Foundation 217-218 budget and appointing the four directors for a four-year term. Councilmember Rico Medina? Aye. Councilmember Marty Medina? Aye. Councilmember O'Connell? Aye. Vice Mayor Ibarra? Aye. Mayor Ruin? Aye. And before we finish with this item, I just want to thank all of you for what you have done and what you are about to embark on, because <laughs> it's, it's a lot of work. But uh, this was a really a one-off when it all started uh, a number of years ago um, from negotiating all of that $70 million restitution. And uh, you have really served the community well. So I really appreciate it, and congratulations. Four years. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 sure.